I thought today that we would learn the um, two-stitch honeycomb pattern and what I've done is I have um, started foundation row with hope you can see that with 14 stitches and the way that this works is you start out with two purl stitches So we do two purl stitches, then two knit stitches, two purl, two knit, two purl, To knit and then we do our end stitch which goes through the final two for that neat close it's chain one then it's yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two all the way back Now our next row will be the opposite if you're working on a flat piece and doing no increases. So you're going to work knit stitches into your purl stitches and the way you tell that they are purl is you see that you have the bumps before. So it's two knit, then followed by two purl. Two knit, followed by two purl, two knit, followed by two purl. And then you'll go through the last two like normal for your nice neat clothes. And it's chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way back. Okay, and then we will start that row repeat again. So let me get uh, to that. that um, my table is a little too dark. You may not be able to see that against the darkness. So we'll repeat those two rows. Of course, the first row is we have two knit. So we're going to begin row one is two purls. followed by two knit stitches, two purls, two knit stitches, two purls, Two knit stitches and then we do that neat close by going through the last two pulling up a loop then it's chain one then yarn over pull through two 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 all the way back to the end
and then of course the second row is you're going to do knit stitches in the pearls so it begins with two knit stitches followed by two purl stitches two knit stitches followed by two purl stitches two knit stitches and two pearls. And that is the two row repeat for this on a flat piece. Um, if you're doing increases, you would just simply repeat the same row over and over. But since there are no increases, we have to do a row one and a row two. Then your return pass is the normal return pass. And that is that double honeycomb, or two stitch honeycomb. You'll see you get a little bit of a different pattern there. Um, like I told you, there are several different patterns for honeycomb. That is what the back looks like. Um, so yeah, this is um, what Arnie calls the SOS stitch in a lot of her books. Um, so, it is basically a two-stitch honeycomb, which consists of a two-row repeat. Alright guys, that's it for today's Tunisian Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.